Right, um, what am I doing? <laughs> Right, what I'm doing really is making some space in where all this over over spray is, um, just so I can make some space for the wiring loom. So it's it's not the best job in the world, to be fair, but it has got to be done. There's some of it like this you can see there's plenty of space here uh you can see what i've done just down there plenty of space here but where this is just blown over i've got to trim all that out so i can get some room for the cables so it's um it's yeah <laughs> it's a job and it's one of those that's got to be done so best crack on with it Obviously, um, you want to be careful not to expose um, any metal. I have got to get some. I have got to get some uh, spray foam anyway because um, one of the guys at the yard did did start to do. I think he was a young lad. He did start to chip away at some of the the overspray, but he's been a bit overzealous in places. So I've just got to, I'll, I'll get some tans any anywhere where it's the metal's exposed. I'll just uh, I'll just give that a, a little bit of a coat of insulation. So that should be enough. Um, if I just grab that piece of wood there, uh, I've cut one, just one vertical. Now you can see that so. That will sit. That's a bit of foam there, they're bound to be. That will sit something like that. And you can see there, there's, there's a gap there for the wiring loom and that to go through. So yeah, I've got to ch chisel all that out down there and the same the other side. So it gives me that clearance. So here's Marty, he's trimming, what's it called? <laughs> spray foam. <laughs> the spray foam, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> it's so good. Here's Marty, levelling off some of the spray foam. Well, what am I doing it for? <laughs> oh, is there a question that today? Was a test. Oh, that was a test. this is because he wants to run the um, some of the cables along here. So. That's why he's trying to neaten it up a little bit, make it easier. Just, just give me a bit of space to run a wiring loom behind it. It's a messy job. It's a messy job. But someone's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, really. But there's no point running the cables, the cables in until there's a clean. It's not a bit too bad. So there's a path to run them in. Um, you can take them through the final drawing if you want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's almost final. Well, the thing is, it's covered in everything at the moment. So, excuse the mess, but this is the stern. So it will be in from the stern, a couple of cupboards here, down the steps. First two portals is where our bedroom's gonna be. Walk space, double wardrobe, then coming through into the bathroom. And then we'll have a quadrant shower there, toilet, sink, and then door then into the kitchen which hopefully will fit my fridge, freezer, washing machine, sink, all on that side. And then I've got, I'm gonna have a gas hob, oven, units, this side. And then again, we're gonna keep a, try and keep a walk space then into the dinette. 
uh, L-shaped dinette, side hatch, so it's easy to open when you're on that side. Uh, our corner diesel stove is going to be there. And then straight into the saloon area, TV under the window and out through the front. Obviously Martin's made all what he needs. Labelled up for sockets and 12 volts and USBs for each room as well. So he's been, he's been a busy little bee this morning. <laughs> While I've been running around trying to find a radiator to put in here for later. <laughs> and he's still at it. Still at it. <sighs> yeah, I took this small board up earlier, this, because uh, I was going to take some ballast out. But actually they didn't ballast this, this one. There's ballast in the others. They didn't ballast this one, which is good. <coughs> I might take some ballast out of that one and that one. Because looking at our layout, it, it, they can be tail heavy quite easily because the saloon hasn't got that much in it, has it really? No. Okay, you've got the water tank, but when you start putting batteries and washing machines and all that sort of stuff in, they, they tend to sink at the, at the stern. So I'm going to take some ballast out of here at some point. I don't need to do it now. But yeah, like Fran was saying, I've just made a... Um, just a channel, really. Don't I think you've just made a mess, that's all. I've definitely made a mess. He's definitely just made a mess, just so he can say, Fran, clean that up. This is just a piece of wood. Um, well, it's obviously a piece of wood. I've got, I've got to shorten them. But if you see now, that top right, that top area there, I can run a, I can run a wiring loom down there. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to run lighting. I'm not going to run lighting looms down the down the top. I don't think I might change my mind on that one because basically you've got to come up to a switch anyway, or drop down to a switch. So might all go under there. Um, I, I'd have to I'd have to channel that out to bring them up. I've got to see how thick that wood is to see to, to see if I can do that. Um, you can see the insulation is about, what's that, 25 mil deep. So I need to check, see if I can get down the back of there and bring up the supplies to the switches. And then I can go up to the LEDs and stuff. So there will be some lighting running that way. But I've got to put a button, drive buttons across here. So there is then plenty of space then to to run my lighting cables and that's all that will be up ah well, the lighting cables tv cable solar. solar cable and our internet will be in the roof somewhere yeah so yeah um you're right though i have made a hell of a mess so i'm going to put this down now and, and start and start clean i've already made you a coffee i'll have another one <laughs> <laughs> and start the, cleaning the important up. thing is we've got a new five pound kettle <laughs> yeah Good old Asda. <laughs> 50p <laughs> mugs and a kettle. I've just threw a temporary supply in just so I can charge the power tools and stuff like that. Just a, just a few sockets. And we can leave that radiator on then tonight, can't we? Just to keep yeah. it. Because it went quite cold last night. Yeah. Well, I've been bloody everywhere for a radiator. Nobody had one in stock. It's some supply issues again here. The, the stuff. Look when I was after a printer a few weeks ago. Mm. Nowhere. So anyway, there's our moon after. The only, I think the only thing I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with at the moment is this, is this is our thermo wood. We'll talk about that later. Obviously it's got to be fixed on these buttons. I can put a screw there, fine, because there'll be a skirt in that runs all the way down. Um, and there ain't a button at the top, is there? there there's not a button right, right at the, at the top. top. Um, so then again, I, your cables aren't going to be all behind there anyway. They'll be behind, yeah, yeah that's okay. It's, it's, it's how I... Fix it's how I decide to fix that. Whether whether I just put a screw in the bottom as a as a bib and braces, that's got it, and, and then try and fire fire a nail through into the into the tongue. Um, what I found with these this thermo would haven't really worked very much with it yet, but because it's heat treated, um, it changes the property of the, the wood a little bit, and it becomes really quite brittle. I mean, tongue and groove is brittle anyway, but um, I'm not sure how 
reliable uh, that will take to a nail so and I'd prefer to put a screw in there really so I'm just pondering that this is just a bit that's got a bit more knots in this isn't a defect this is the way it comes sometimes but on the whole the wood is fairly clean so it might be that I decide to put these the back of kitchen units and stuff where you, you're really going to see them yeah so. anyway um right i'm gonna put this phone down now and make me a coffee i'm making my coffee so do you moan i wasn't moaning <laughs> Jump for now. Right, press on okay so um yeah like fran was saying all our 12 volt stuff is going to go uh on top of this battening what i'm going to do i'm going to go and get some pieces of wood cut and just just screw some um uprights on there that makes sense then all the cables can run behind, so I can I can run all the cables and mark them all up as, as I want to. Then when the loom is done, I'll get some of the split conduit, sometimes called retrofit conduit. You can get it all different sizes. Basically, it's got a split down it, so you can you can clip it over cables already in place. So once all the wiring's in, I can cover it all in that conduit, that retrofit conduit. Uh, tape it all up properly and then then the loom is sort of built in situ so um, I'm going to take everything down there come up here for our light switches as well uh, and for the 240 what, I, what I'm going to do I've just done one there is on this button here there is well just behind this button there, there's a there's a some steel work that's about 20 mil sitting behind it so what I'm actually going to do, I don't know what I've picked up this knife for. There's my knife. So what I'm going to do, I want to keep that 240 and uh, low voltage separate. All I'm going to do is just, just recess that back a little bit. Without, without going into that steel. So if I just get a bit of cable, I've actually got a lot of cable. So that cable then will just sit, sit in there and I shall clip all these cables in place. So this, this doesn't need any other insulation because it's already double insulated. The single insulated cables, they really need some, some extra protection as well. So I need to cover those. I don't need to cover this. So basically I can run down there and uh, create our wiring loom for our 240. So uh, you guys know Sparky already. Um, we don't normally put ring mains on boats. So a ring main is from the supply, the breaker, a socket to socket to socket all the way around and then back to the breaker, a ring main like you see in the house. We don't normally do that on boats, we normally fit radials. So a radial is breaker, socket to socket to socket to socket, and then it ends at one socket. So that's a radial main. Um, there's The only reason for that really is if you've got a ring main, if you've got a bad connection on one socket, then the other side of the ring gets overloaded. So uh, we, uh, this is the, the stuff I, I learned when I did my British Marine um, uh, technicians course and stuff. It, it's much better to put a radial main in. Um, then you haven't got that possible. If, if, obviously, if there's a break here, you know there's a break there because all those sockets don't work. But in a ring main, you never know where that break is. How's this done, matter? Houses don't move around very much, but boats do move around quite a lot. So um, I'm going to put a radial main down the port side. I always think of port, drinking a glass of port with my left hand. A radial main down the port side, and we'll do another radial main down the starboard side. So more chiseling out of this foamy stuff, so it allows me to put that, uh, that supply in. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Of course, I thought you might be. <laughs> right. I best get cracking then, I've got some more of that to chisel out. <laughs> Quite busy bees, didn't we? We have busy bees. Busy bees, so yeah, all that's channeled out high level for our low voltage. And we've just put that first radial main along there. 
Um, I've got no clips, so I've just taped it up for now and I'll put some clips in it. So, socket in the corner, TV point, we'll put a 12 in there as well. Yeah. TV, uh, this long one is going into our dinette. dinette. So like in the, in the base of the dinette, so we can plug into there. Uh, that one is going up to a high level, which will be behind the kitchen counter. Oven and hob, oven and hob igniter. Uh, this one is double socket, double socket above, again above the kitchen. kitchen unit. Then all the way along, uh, there's a low level one here in and the, in the bedroom, uh, sort of near the stern doors and then up into the fuse box. So we need to mark that one up with port radial main. And then we can do the uh, the starboard radio, you mean? Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> That's another socket there, isn't it? For, uh, let's leave a bit more. You always cut a bit off. This cable is so expensive that you, it's a real fine line between leaving enough so you've not you've not left yourself short and and not wasting far far too much cable. I say I'll clip all these I'll clip all these properly. Um, I'm just gonna pop up to the wholesalers and so that's side of the bed socket there and there's one up there. Right. Where's the next where's the next socket gonna be? Uh, there is. No. There is. I've done the socket for the bedroom. There's nothing in the bathroom. That's that's. That, that, oh, there you is. Got, you've got to put the washing machine and fridge. Ones. So there's yeah. two. No, no. There's two there for the one for the fridge and one for the washing machine. I could really just put a double in there. There's no. I can just put yeah. one in. I don't need to put two. Two supply. Two sockets. So. Um, it could be. Here's where the, where the kitchen bedroom. starts. So somewhere there. Yeah. So yeah, so we've got a two foot fridge. This this is two foot actually, that mark there. I marked these earlier. So that's where the fridge will be. That's where the washing machine will be. So we'll 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 put it there in the, in between them, hey? Yeah. Okay. Is the fridge out two foot? Twenty five hundred. Yeah, but the, 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 the box is the slots in. Well you'd have a gap. Yeah, no, the well the five is it's five hundred but you you'll still make it a, a six hundred gap. So you can slot it in and Oh, we had the other one. We don't matter, we sort of, it, don't, it, it, it don't matter at this point. I just need to get the socket in the right place. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I do argue with her, what's 500, 600, what's two foot and what ain't two foot? <laughs> I used to send appliances. <laughs> get some tape, I'll take these. So that's. Uh, that's the socket for the so one side of the bed. Don't know what this is here, rip, FYI, FYI, what FIY, do you know that is? <laughs> Just in case fix. <laughs> don't know. Glamorous assistant. Do that more glamorous than I am. Which I suppose is a good thing, you know, all, for everyone concerned. Okay, so we've done the, we've put the ring main, the radio mains in. Can't call it a ring main, it's not. Radio main. Um, and we're looking at the 12 volt now. So what we, I'm going to do is, we've already cut this back. Are the kettles on? The kettle is on. Cinderella the, is working. You are getting there. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so we've cut all this back, as you know. Uh, I need to make a wiring loom up. So the way they, the way they make wiring looms up generally is they, they put pins on a board and they'll run all the cables and then tape it. So what I'm going to do is something similar. Uh, I'm just putting these screws in here. 
So this is just to just to hold the cables um, while we while we run them. So when all the cables are in, I shall come along then and put the split conduit on them and make it one one uh, one complete wiring loom. So that will protect all the all the 12 volt circuits. Uh, This, this should allow us just to just support the cables so there's not too much sag in them. Because if there's cables are, you know, all over the place, then when you come to try and get them in the conduit, there's just going to be too much cable. I'll pop another one in there. There's too much, there'll be too much cable to uh, actually get in the... Actually get in the corner? The, uh, I can do. I can do. So these are just temporary. These are, these are, these will come out uh, when we're ready. Zip. That's one side. Zip. We've got them all the way along there. Yeah. It's actually the the 240 stuff is really easy, um, and it's only really a couple of circuits apart from the Columbia fire heater. Hey. What are you saying? Uh, it's actually 12 volt cables that will take, take the time and there's far more, there's far more uh, circuits on there. What, what are you doing this for? Am I cutting now or am I still recording? Yeah, you can, yeah, you can, you can cut it now. Cut it now. <laughs> okay, so we've run quite a few circuits lots in there. Lots of you, cables. Lots of cables. <laughs> So you can start to see how many circuits there actually is, um, and this is by no way this is nowhere near finished. Um, we need to put um, a circulation pump, 12 volt supply in there for the back boiler, uh, and we've run out of uh, six mil cable. So already, already uh, at the back again. It's I'm going to put uh, trunking across the back there. Uh, this is two USB points in the bedroom. There and there, and you can see. Then we've we need to start running our circuits down there for our twelve volt fridge and things. But you get the idea. Well, of, yeah, yeah, they're all they're all they're all definitely labelled, so we know what they are. Because uh, yeah, all those cables meeting back here would be an absolute nightmare. I could figure it out because I can buzz them all out, but uh, I'd rather not do that. So we're just talking about our. Switches. Our switches now for our lighting, which we're going to start running that in now. Uh, Two-way switching for entry and exit into each room could be because you might be walking into the bathroom from one side or the other side, so you need switches both ways. So we're two-way switch just about everything. So, right, let's start running some sw light switch cables. We're not running the LED cables at the moment up the roof, but like here, we'll come along uh, come along in our normal wiring loom. I should cut a small piece out there with a multi-tool and that'll take us, bring us, <laughs> bring us live and uh, live, positive and negative then up to this point here. Um, in fact, there might, there'll probably be a couple of positive and negatives here because one will be for the dinette sort of space and one will be for the kitchen lighting sort of space. So there'll be a couple of supplies to this one. And the overhead, the, the overhead's fine because that that will come off the dinette circuit. Right. Uh, but still can't make me mind it whether to have it there or there. Uh, well, we'll we'll, we'll put we'll put the other we'll put where you want it. Right. Okay. So let's run some of those lighting circuits. Can we? Chop chop. Chop chop. What time is it? Must, must be beer o'clock. Yeah, I have. Ten to five. Ten to five. So we press on for a bit longer, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Another hour. Another hour. Okay, that's enough for one day, is it? Yep. Tea time. Tea time. What have we got for tea? Ooh. Chicken and mushroom. Not bad. Not bad. So, yeah, we've had a busy day. Lots of wires. Lots of wires. I'll just take you around just quickly what we've been doing. Um, yeah, so it might, it might look a little bit chaotic. I don't, it's not. 
So yeah, all these cables, all, these are all 12 volt cables that are running all the, all the way under that one bulkhead. Uh, that's things to like, um, well, ki kitchen lights that will be up here. We've got uh, two way switching for uh, the bathroom light, two way switching. We've got the power for our uh, circulating pump somewhere. We've got two 12 volt and 240, so we can choose which telly we want. All this, uh, it, it does, like I say, it does look chaotic. Uh, it looks spaghetti. It does look like spaghetti. <laughs> but when this is all enclosed um, in flexible conduit, and it will be P-clipped to that, to that button as well. So all flexible conduit, all taped up, P-clipped, that, that will start to look very neat. Uh, there's our nest of spaghetti in there, but I'll sort that out. I'll put a cable tray across the back of there. That's behind cupboards and steps. steps. And then we follow the light, the, the, the other side, so the starboard side we're just sort of working on. That's like 12 volts for um, a USB and USB there too. Uh, 240 volt sockets either side of the bed. Again, I'll clip all this up when I get some clips tomorrow. Um, what else we got along here? More uh, socket there for the fridge. Plenty of towels on as well, so plenty of space. Uh, we've got um, a negative and uh, supply for the dinette here as well. Kitchen light negative. So kitchen light negative, that's because um, the supply, uh, no, the supply, sorry, to the kitchen switches over there and I'll bring two way switching cables over the top when I've buttoned. So it's, it's all it's all getting there. We've done quite a lot today. It might look for the, for the faint of heart, it might look um, as though there's a stack of stuff there. Oh, that's the cables for our horn and headlights as well. They, they will go out out here, run along the top of the A-frame board to the headlight and horn there. So uh, they're, they're all six mil cables, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we've had a busy day. Busy, busy. What we've also been looking at is, uh, I'll just cut one of these boards up to length and I just borrowed a, f um, a friend's uh, nail gun just to see what that looked like. So we are gonna, we're gonna nail gun all those down, aren't we? Yeah. So we've got a lot of these to cut to length. There's quite a pile over there. And there. <laughs> so cut oil cut, both sides. Cut oil both sides. Um, and then we'll then we'll we'll silicon them uh, and now gun them all the way across there. All this cable as well, it, it might look it might look a bit amateurish, I hope it doesn't. But that will have all clips all the way along it, so that's all secure. So none of these cables will be sort of vibrating around chafing the insulation uh, at all and we, we have decided we did decide to bring all of our cables uh, below the bulkheads like we said before I should put a little groove in these these buttons here just to take the cables through and then they'll go to a switch that's up in the top cladding so um, that seemed like the way I wanted to do it and that's the way I've done it. Not saying that's the way you should do it, but that's the way we've done it, eh? Yeah. Okay, so I think I think that's enough for one day. Yeah. I, I think um, some of you have to cut me a chicken curry. Chicken mushroom. Ch oh, chicken mushroom, even better. Um, and that's, we've got a bit of a shopping list, haven't we? We need some more cable. Yeah, yeah this one's actually um, Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, and an ammo boat, you can really nail through the cable. So, um, Another couple hundred meters of six mil, and I think I think I'll get a couple hundred meters of the three mil as well. Yeah, that's that. That's like four hundred pounds worth of cable right there. So yeah, we've done um, we've done pretty well I think for one day. Generating a lot of rubbish, and as if you've seen, we've been we've been cutting this back so it leaves. I don't know whether you can see that actually. Uh, let me just have a look. So where's that? Uh, where's that one board? Here it is. Um, there's always something in the way. 
and there's something in the way there. So, <laughs> so I'm sort of giving, trying to give the, what, the idea of once this is P clipped at the back, I don't know if you can see that. Once that's P clipped at the back in conduit, you can see there's there's a nice space there for the for the cables to run along. Now we've cut that um, insulation out as well, so it'll look a lot better once the once the uh, the conduits on there. Yeah. They look a lot neater and all P clipped in, so that'll all be done properly. Boy, right, was off. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Uh, we're back to getting somewhere. Quite enjoying it, really, in a weird sort of way, even though it's a busman's holiday for me. I'll do that anyway. <laughs> but uh, this is for us, and it's always a bit uh, bit more personal when it's for ourselves. So Let's go and have a curry. I think there's a couple of beers in the van. I might be helping myself to one of those. I might have a glass of wine. So you might have a glass of wine. <laughs> Shall we? Shall have we, we earned it? I think so. I think we have. Okay, see you next time, guys. We'll carry on our wiring next time. Um, get all this conduited up. Yeah. Um, and we get we start to batten, batten out and tack properly. And, and and, and, yep, yeah, we get all that done. Um, start to batten in the ceiling as well, ready for the the uh, the ceiling the yeah. ceiling uh, TNG as well. So all good. Thanks for all the new subscribers, Thank new and you, old. Yeah. Uh, some people have been with us for a little bit of the journey, haven't they? And uh, we are welcome all the new guys. Uh, feel free to make comments. It's not really a how-to video. It's just what we're doing. Yeah. Might give you some ideas um, if, if you want to do that yourself or maybe you just enjoy watching people build boats. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, it's not, we're not doing a technical thing, but there will be some technical stuff along the way, but uh, not really a technical thing. We've not done through cable sizing and things, but um, that's quite easy to do anyway. All the cables have been sized for the, for the run. It's and basically just our built boat building it. Yeah, 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 I'm not doing a how-to, it's just um, this is how we're building it and this yeah. is the trials and tribulations along the way. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank Press you. that subscribe button if you want to follow us and see all the rest of the build. There's lots more to come. <laughs> lots more. <laughs> so, yeah, see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.